Welcome everybody to the AI-verse. This is the March monthly roundup of everything artificial intelligence and metaverse. And the big trend for March was everything to do with artificial intelligence produced videos. So majority of the episode is covering that as well as some other very unique and interesting developments. And of course, the usual trends. So I won't cover the usual trends. Literally everything is continuing to trend up production, investment, startups, it's all trending up. So I won't be covering that as I have been so much in the last few months. In this one, more focusing on the unique developments, followed by at the end with what's actually happening with cryptocurrency in the investment world in relation to artificial intelligence and one very cool, unique metaverse update. So first, Sora's first impression. So this is this is OpenAI's website. And this, to me, summarizes everything that is fantastic about text to video. So Sora is at its most powerful when you're not replicating the old, but bringing to life new and impossible ideas we would have otherwise never had the opportunity to see. So this is Paul Trillo, a director. And as great as Sora is at generating things that appear real, what excites us is its ability to make things that are totally surreal. So this is something that I was very fascinated by from the get-go. So obviously it's very, you can go to Canva, you can go to many uh, video production and editing programs and softwares and just utilize things that have been done before. But with artificial intelligence, just like with text to image, you're actually delving into the depths of your imagination, things that you don't have the capacity to produce by hand or the skills to produce on the computer, AI can do that. And now with videos, it opens up a whole new world of possibilities. So this is an extremely exciting time to be alive as a content creator. So me personally, I'm very, very excited about everything that's happening. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to play just a little bit of these videos. I actually haven't watched them myself, so let's watch them together. So this one here is Airhead, so Shy Kids Airhead. So let's have a look at this one. Look at the realism. It might be jolty due to my application, but it's very good. Well, they say everyone has something unique about them something that sets them apart. It's just in my case, you know, it's quite obvious what that thing is. I am literally filled with hot air. Yeah, living like this has its challenges. Uh, windy days, for one, are particularly troublesome. Well, there was a one time my girlfriend insisted I go to the cactus store to get my Uncle Jerry a wedding present. Ugh. What do I love most about my predicament? Ooh, the perspective it gives me. You know, I get to see the world differently. I'm not going to watch all of it because there is quite a lot of videos to go through. So I will leave the links in the description as usual. I'm just going to breeze through some of these. So let's have a look at this next one here. So Paul Trillo. going to pause that i was hypnotized by that so i really um, again i'm going to leave the links here one thing when i saw that shape change again this is something that i'm extremely excited about as a as a person who's very much into the quest for truth and becoming your true self the whole conception about becoming your true self is this concept of myself in my mind doesn't actually exist even the idea of a soul, people think, oh, there is a soul that exists once I die. This is not the truth. The real truth is there's only one soul. And that soul is the great soul of the universe. It's the entirety of the universe itself. So I really want to be able to depict visually in video format, the idea of the complete dissolution of this false self and the becoming oneness of the entire universe. And so that's one of the things that I'm really excited about with 
AI generated videos to actually present these facts to people in much more clear ways because to really talk about it's very difficult once you start to visualize it it can really strike a chord in you and get that sensation flowing in your body and in your mind to really resonate hang on a minute there is some truth to this so very 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 exciting developments already i'm i'm astounded compared to what i was seeing just a few months ago so i won't go through all these because there is quite a lot and then so matt wolf here he's he's got a fantastic YouTube channel. He's a big influencer in terms of artificial intelligence. So what he's done here is he's done a prompt with three different, I'm going to the start and I'll just play a little bit of this, three different text to video generation. So I'll just play this. This one goes for 30 seconds. In the heart of the rainforest, life bursts in vibrant colors. Iridescent butterflies flit among towering trees while raindrops transform leaves into sparkling gems. Look at the differences. Look at the the photorealism there. But even this one actually, it it reminds me of a video game. It's stunning. This the the differences are actually there's they're so beautiful. Actually, they're so beautiful. And what are the possibilities for filmmaking? Does it have to be something where it's all the same thing? Maybe you could layer these things up and create some kind of like dreamlike movie or layer in different different video generation applications to get different kind of feels throughout the f oh oh wow high above monkeys observe guardians of this paradise as a visitor i seek the forest's whispered secrets exploring its resilience and beauty join me on a journey to uncover the wonders of the rainforest where every moment is a story every step an adventure jungle whispers I am blown away. They are all absolutely spectacular. So now on to the next thing. So this one was actually, I'm just going to show again, just a tiny little bit. So this is from Sky Sports. They used AI to create F1's greatest track. So what they did was they interviewed, or they basically got a survey and it's like all the biggest F1 fans come together to make the ultimate track. So this is like the ultimate track. So I'm just going to play, again, just a very small portion of this. Again, the links will be in the description. The Tifosi voted the most passionate fans in our Sky Sports poll. Now to the glamorous streets of Monaco. It's the swimming pool chicane, a rapid sequence of turns, and on to the Grand Hotel hairpin, the slowest corner on the F1 calendar. From Monaco to Belgium, a rouge and into Radion, a heart stopping. Okay, that actually makes me a little nauseous, I must admit. But anyway, you get the idea. And so, again, look at the direction that we're going. So, open AI to showcase Sora to Hollywood studios for possible integration into their work. So, the keynotes here are open AI is showcasing its new AI video generator. Sora can create realistic video clips up to a minute long based on text descriptions. OpenAI emphasizes responsible use of AI in collaboration. So some of these videos I did show last week. So again, this is now coming into Hollywood. This is coming into the mainstream. And you can only produce one minute, but this is just the beginning, right? A year ago, the quality of the videos that were being produced were very poor. The quality has rapidly increased. Of course, the computing power is phenomenal. It requires a lot of computing power. So to generate a full feature-length film is not going to be easy, but as technology continues to scale up, as energy production continues to scale up, the possibilities will be there in the future. Within our lifetime, we more than likely will see, or actually I would say more than definitely, we will see an art a fully produced artificial intelligence movie within our lifetime. I imagine first it's going to be a short film, maybe even like a TV series or something like this, and then it will be like a movie. So this is something to really look forward to in the future. What can directors actually do? If you think about the caliber of directors who'll be paying attention to this, James Cameron, always on the cutting edge of things with Avatar. There's going to be a lot of interesting developments. Christopher Nolan, uh, D D Dennis Villeneuve. I mean, what can these guys do with this kind of with this kind of power? What can they actually imagine? What can their imaginations actually produce? <laughs> So again, that's entertainment, but also what can it actually communicate to the world? How can you utilize this power to communicate things to the world? So in a similar vein, Stability AI's new AI model. So what they're actually doing now as well, it's not just text to image, it's also, uh, sorry, text to video. It's also image to video. So just with images, they're creating, they're able to make videos now. So we'll have a look at this one here. So here is... 
Here's the reference image on the side, and it generates a video here. Wow. Wow. I mean, that's an Eminem song, obviously, and it's really like, the lips are very, very accurate. That's phenomenal. So this is the video that it generated. Again, links in the description. And then something that I thought was really cool in a, in a bit of a similar vein. This is just the early days of it, but how cool is this? So this is making your AI generated images real. So have a look at this. So here's the AI image. You've got some binoculars. And then this is like 3D printed binoculars. They're not that crash hot, but it's the beginning of something that could be very, very interesting. Again, a piece of jewelry that the AI can generate for you. And again, not crash hot, but it's, it's the start of something that could be potentially very, very cool. So very, very cool. Very much looking forward to what this can actually do in the future. These are the kinds of things that I would look out for when I'm looking for things to invest in in the future. I want to spot these kinds of trends. Where are we actually going? I'm not going to have the kinds of funds to be able to go into these seed rounds at the moment. I'm hoping through my cryptocurrency investments as they as they go through my, my whole investment thesis is catapult my wealth with cryptocurrency. And once I've got an established base, then I can actually utilize that base to start investing in artificial intelligence uh, businesses and startups in the future. That's that's really the plan. And then basically spread the wealth out in that particular manner. But right now, there's a, just a massive focus on cryptocurrency because that's the place where you can get the best bang for your buck. So if you are watching this as an AI enthusiast, I do have cryptocurrency playlists. I would strongly recommend checking that out. Bitmobic and Pulse Chain are things that I'm very, 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 very bullish on. Okay, so now on to the next aspect. So let's get back into the presentation here. So very cool there. So what have we got here? So now Adobe reveals Gen AI tool for music. So now this is something that's continuing to develop. So essentially there are plenty of Gen A powered music editing and creation tools out there, but Adobe wants to put its own spin on the concept. So Adobe is just getting into this foray at the moment. So I actually showed a while ago, there was a Beatles, uh, the Beatles get Get Back, the documentary by Peter Jackson, actually developed a whole bunch of AI software that they were able to make the latest, the newest and last Beatles song ever. And it's actually a really, really beautiful song. I strongly recommend listening to it, particularly if you're a Beatles fan. So um, I'll just play a little bit of this. I haven't actually watched any of this because I actually like to go through it with you guys. Don from Adobe here. I'm super excited to show you this new project from Adobe Research using generative AI to co-create music. Let's go check it out. So again, it's to me, this is the power of it where you're using AI to assist you. I think that's the power, not just AI to do it and do everything. The AI actually assists you. So it becomes a tool. It's like playing a guitar but I don't need to learn how to play the guitar. I just need to have the idea in my mind and the AI actually assists me. What's up, Nick? How you doing, Dom? Pretty good. I heard you got a new project cooking up. Yeah, I've been working on some music co-creation with Precise Control. I can uh, take an input melody that sounds like this. And then you can generate the accompaniment, in this case, some, some film music. That's cool, that's just from a prompt? Yeah, yeah, do you wanna hear something else? Yeah, let's let's do hip hop. All right, one sec. <laughs> Check out this other example where I can. So, you know, it, it leaves it open to your imagination. The possibilities are endless and this is just scratching the surface. We're just beginning. So here we go, helping a trope, but this is one of the things that I'm really big into. The future of user experience in chatbots can actually take action. So let's have a look at this little clip as well, because at the moment, obviously, large language models, chatbots, they started off with just talking to you. So you'll ask it questions and it communicates back to you. Then they can start to produce images. Now they're starting to be able to produce videos and music. And so the future is going to be, they're actually going to be able to take action for you. So if you really think about what does it mean for an artificial intelligence, for a robot, 
these are the kinds of things that are all going to converge into whatever this robot could be in the future, this artificial intelligence robot, which might have AGI, which might have artificial in general intelligence. They might be walking around amongst us having like human skin, which might be 3D printed. These are the kinds of possibilities that they could be like your servants or possibly even <laughs> get yourself a girlfriend or a boyfriend, whatever you want. So let's have a look now at what's actually going on here with this particular video. Why this is a big deal. So if I type in here, like, what is the, what's the price of NVIDIA, NVIDIA? So the way, like, you know, if you go to ChatGPT right now or whatever, and you ask this, and it doesn't have access to any actions, it's going to say, like, hey, I can't get, like, real-time financial data. Like, maybe it gives you something that's like, hey, here's the latest I have, right? And what people have done in the last little bit is they've built actions, which are sort of like a back-end tool to... Okay, buy 100 shares. Obviously, now it's able to actually bring these things into you. Wow. Okay. okay, again, going back to the current way of doing things in a normal chat experience. So, what we're going to, you know, like wow. show here is, you know, I, I could click purchase here. And now I'm doing my work right within a chat. I'm getting a really rich UI. Wow. To, uh, kind of reflect the type of work that I'm doing. And you're going to see, you're going to see. Wow. Okay. Wow. So, at the moment, this is all part of what Web3 is going to be about. This is why I'm very excited about this. When I think of the metaverse, I think of Web3 and I think of a more fluid way of interacting with the internet. At the moment, with the internet, it's 2D and you've got to have all these tabs open and it's kind of annoying. I want to buy this and then I've got to, I've got to enter my tax here. And then I've like, for example, if I'm investing, I'm buying here and then I'm using this application to check the prices. Then I'm using this website to actually enter my tax data and that's just one example, but it's just all over the place and it's really frustrating and can be quite annoying. I'm sure you've been through where you've got like tens, twenties, thirties, forty different tabs open up along the top of your of your uh, web browser, and it can be kind of overwhelming for the brain. With things like artificial intelligence, having it all as like an operating system. I mean, even with your phone, having all these different apps. I'm sh I showed it in a previous episode. I think it was about uh, the New Year's episode, the the rabbit, the beautiful little device, the little rabbit device, which keeps continuously selling out. I would strongly recommend checking that out, actually. That's a very awesome looking item where basically it's not all about separate apps. It's all about the device itself is the artificial intelligence and you talk to it and it gives you all the responses just in this particular way. So there will be something like that. Instead of having everything disconnected all over the place and you're kind of jumping around, it's just going to be like, okay, I want to buy this and okay, search for this and okay, uh, I want to chat with uh, my best friend here and just do it all in the one app. That's very cool. Seamlessness, efficiency. This is what it's all about. Artificial intelligence is going to make our life easier and Web3 is just going to be so seamless and so easy. I'm I'm so I'm just so continuously blown away. It's really cool to be doing these things so we get the live response. More on the ethical side of things. There was, there's always a lot of things and I don't tend to cover these things, but I thought this was very interesting. I really liked this this move by Elon Musk. He actually has now made Grok, which is the X, the formerly known as Twitter their AI, he's made it open source. And this is in response to open AI. And the reason is, is because Elon was actually an early investor uh, of open AI, but he doesn't like how it's become so centralized. And so he wants AI to be open source. And so at the moment, obviously, open AI is not. It's pretty much controlled by Microsoft. And I mean, whether you're in the hands of open, whether it's open source and a terrorist can get it and there's that fear or it's in the hands of Microsoft who can just hand over all your data to the CIA or to government agencies who can spy on you and misconceive the kinds of things that you're looking into and breach your privacy. It's a much of muchness, really. So there's pros and cons to both sides. So I think something like this is very good. I think the dichotomy between the two is very good. The tension between open source and centralization is very, very important. And somewhere in the middle, we're going to find exactly what we need. We're going to find that perfect balance somewhere in the future. So well done, Elon. Elon is always going against the mold. And I love Elon. I'm reading his biography at the moment. And he's like, what a dude. So... Okay, Cognitions. Devon is the world's first AI software engineer. I loved this. 
I have dabbled with a tiny bit of coding myself and you can do little bits of coding on, for example, like Wix. You can go to Wix and it will have like a coding, uh, artificial intelligence coder. Uh, you can do a little bit of coding with ChatGPT and all these large language models. But now this is actually the first AI software engineer. So basically text to code. So I can just come on here with this software engineer. It's, it's specifically designed for coding. I could get it. I mean, think about what that means. If I have an app idea and I've got this amazing idea. So for example, but as a matter of fact, with Rabbit, the device there where everything is all in one, I actually had that idea and I was going to, I was thinking like coexist app where everything, all the different apps, instead of having to jump around in all the different apps, it's all just like one app and it's all just there. And then, and then it ended up coming out as Rabbit IO. So obviously somehow I'm picking up the vibration of the world because it's actually being created. So it also gives me a lot of confidence that I'm really in tune with the world. I'm really in tune with the flow because really my process is I just completely trust the universe and the the function of myself as the universe. All I do with these kinds of things is I learn, I I, I talk to you about it. And I just let it go. And ideas come to me naturally from the source, from the universe. And so I'm really in tune with it. So I'm very confident in my ability moving forward that I'll actually be able to pick trends. And I've already noticed with, particularly with cryptocurrency, I'm picking trends that nobody else is seeing. And so this is something that I'm really having a lot more confidence because of my clear mind and that I don't, have, my mind is not clouded with tens of thousands of thoughts. I'm able to just be in the flow, be in the zone and everything just comes from the universe. And I totally totally love this mindset of a clear mind. So if I have an idea, for example, like the coexist app, there was no way that I could do it. I couldn't get it off the ground. I don't have the capital. I didn't even know where to start. If there's something like this, first AI software engineer, I could go to chat GPT. What do I need to do? Well, you need to go to get a developer. Okay, no worries. I'll get this software here. Hey, developer, I want to make an app like this. Make it. Produces it. There we go. Okay, what do I want to fix? Okay, this is what I want to fix. Like, Anyone can do anything. This is how the world should actually be. The more easier it is for anyone to be able to do anything, the more freedom and liberation every human has to be able to achieve anything to the maximum of their capacity, what they were born to do. That's why, again, it's really just the most exciting time to be alive. The restrictions, the borders, the boundaries, the limitations are being completely eroded by everything that's happening in the world. And that's a very, very exciting time. And especially the most important one is the erosion of the barrier with our minds. So when I talk about having ideas that are in the flow, there's no, there's the boundary between my bubble, this false self and the universe is completely dissolving. It's completely dissolving. And that's the way that the truth is the universe is just the one existence. So everything in society should also just be fluid and harmonious with no, with no boundaries, no separation. It should just be great freedom and great liberation. So one more thing before we get on to the investment sector. So this is the metaverse. So this is very cool. So this is a content creator on Pulse Chain. So her name is Mana and I just love watching her little videos. So she's very in tune with everything that's happening in the metaverse. So she's got her little, she's got her, um, she's got her device here and she creates NFTs. So she creates these 3D realistic NFTs in her style of art. It's really beautiful, but look at the way that she actually does this. Check this out. So now she's doing, this is the Pulse X. So this is the decentralized exchange that's on Pulse Chain. And she makes these, look at that. So she made that as a background. She makes this leopard. They're just gorgeous. And so she's doing that with her headset, her VR. It's, it's awesome. So she does a lot of this stuff. I love following her. So again, I'm going to leave that description. If you're interested in these things, I strongly recommend checking out her content. So finally, now for the investment sector. So again, just like the trends that I was talking about, everything is all about seamlessness and connectivity. It's all about the erosion of boundaries. So anywhere that I see things being connected and boundaries being eroded, those are the things that I'm looking out for. So when I think of this, invest in the future of smart shades, something like this. Okay, yes, this is smart shades. This is just a piece of a house. But as an architect, I want something where somehow there's an artificial intelligence device that's controlling everything. I don't want to go into a room and, oh, I need to find the fan for that room and where's the button or, oh, gee, I need to turn on, I need to find the other remote 
for uh, for my speakers and oh, I need to find, I need to go to the kettle to press the button or I need to press all the buttons for the oven. I want something where again, it's just all in one. It's all in one. Hey, turn on the oven, 180 degrees. I'm on my computer. I don't need to, I mean, it's good to get up and move. So, but you know, if you're really busy, hey, turn on the oven, 180 degrees, blah, 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 blah. I feel like a cup of coffee. Hey, turn on the kettle. I can just keep working. Okay, turn the lights off now. I don't need the lights. Like these are the things that I'm actually looking out for. This is the thing that I'm going to keep my mind on. Freedom, liberation, connectivity, coexistence. Those are the things that I'm looking out for as an investment thesis moving into the future. Now, cryptocurrency. This is why it's just it's just very exciting. It's very bullish. So very small like we've had a big pullback lately. So these are the things that I've been looking for. So I've been keeping my eye on it just to see. So we've have had a we have had a big run here. So let's have a look at this big run here. So we went from this is just the first AI coin. So basically everything at the moment with cryptocurrency and the blockchain, it really has nothing to do with artificial intelligence. Cryptocurrency is just a speculative casino and you just slap on AI and you're getting you're getting investments on speculations. There really is no product at the moment. They're all just future products. And so it's just like the, the dot-com bubble. So where the dot-com bubble was like, yeah, we've got this website, it's coming up and nothing was really there. There's no products. It's really the same thing. There really is no product. It's just complete speculation and things go up just by virtue of having artificial intelligence in there. So I have been keeping my eye on this and these are things that I've actually been wanting to invest in because again, yes, NVIDIA is great. Don't get me wrong, but the multiplications you're getting on your return of investment with NVIDIA is years. Whereas cryptocurrency, if we have a look at cryptocurrency, this is, so from here, uh, what do we got? Four zeros and a four and three zeros and a two. So, oh boy, what is that? So let's have a look. What is that? So do, do three zeros and a two divided by four zeros and a four. So it's a five X. And again, it's a five X in the space of March the 1st to March the 4th. Hang on a minute. Sorry, my mistake. Essentially from... March the 4th to the all time, March the 10th. So in a week, you got a 5X in a week, in one week. So it's highly volatile, but the opportunities are there. And I have been waiting for a big dip. So now I'm going to start to look at accumulating some of these projects. Again, it doesn't even really matter. What I want to look for is, is it on something that's nice and easy to buy? Yes, Uniswap, easy to buy. Mexc, Bilaxi, Polynex. Yep, no problem. Perfect. Another one here, so PAL AI. So this is a big one. I've been hearing it everywhere. This one has probably, probably start, excuse me, started to run away a little bit too much to my liking. So if I go to, was that the max? So here's the max. So essentially, I mean, it's already done massive, massive multiplication. So from point, the lows, let's just say point zero zero one, and now it's up to, yeah, I mean, the all-time high point, Seven eight. So it's done hundreds of X's already within the space of March 4th to July 13th. So less than a year, hundreds of X's. And so this one, I've heard it everywhere, but it has a market cap of nearly half a billion dollars, fully diluted market cap of 652 million, 657 million rather. It's everywhere. It's easy to buy, but it hasn't given me a good pullback. So from the all-time high, if I want to accumulate in this, I want to at least wait for a 50 to 80% dip, ideally 50%. So let's have a look in the last three months. So yeah, it's it's not a big enough pullback. So yeah, not even not even a 20% pullback. So oh okay, yeah. So more of this is more of a decent pullback, but again, I'd want it to come down to these kinds of levels here. Give me something more of a substantial pullback. This is what I'll be waiting for. Numeraire, so this is an older narrative. So this is something from, so I'm just showing different examples and how the different market caps actually create different kinds of charts. And again, you'd, you've seen there was obviously some kind of hype narrative. So AI, I do believe is going to break all time highs on pretty much everything. This one from 1160 to 5140. So that's a 4X again in the space of 
October the 12th to March the 10th. So in the space of, what's that, six months, it's done a 4X. So NVIDIA doesn't do those kinds of numbers. And what do we have? Well, yeah, not not a getting close to a 50% pullback. So we'll wait for at least a 50% pullback. This one got brought to my attention. This one, here we go. This is a one. This is one that I'll be looking at. Look at this. We're starting to see an uptrend. So here we go. Okay, lovely. Very glad. I hadn't actually checked this for a while. I had I had it in my AI tab for quite some time. So I was actually informed about this token from somebody on Twitter. Oh, I would have been around about this point here. So point three. Now we've had a very, very big dip. So I'm going to have a look at this. Where can I actually purchase this? Uniswap, I'm in. I'm in, I'm going to get into this. So only a 4.9 million market cap. And again, your Neuroni AI, how much has it got to do with AI? It doesn't even really matter. It's just the narrative. All you want to do is, okay, I'll have a look at the website. Does a website look decent enough where an investor is going to come in and have a look? I'd also probably have a look at the communities just to see if there's anything actually happening there. So let's just take a look at some of these. So I'm going to close some of these. Actually, I won't close them down. So I'll have a look at the website. I mean, already you can see the legitimacy of the website. It's like a, it's a properly produced website because you have to be very careful with cryptocurrency. There is a lot of rug pulls, which means they go up and they go down within a very short period of time. So this is a very impressive looking website. The Brain Neuroni AI uses advanced natural language processing technology powered by artificial intelligence. This means it's able to understand and analyze human language in a sophisticated way. Neuroni AI leverages deep learning techniques such as recurrent neural networks or transformer models to process and understand natural language. Our model is trained on large amounts of text data, allowing it to, to learn patterns, relationships, and meaning within language. So again, whether this has some kind of use case doesn't really matter. It has AI in it. It's doing something to do with AI, and that's really literally all that matters. And if you look again, let's have a look at this. So from the space of, let's have a look at these multiplications from the space of here. So what did we have? Uh, 0.18 up to a dollar 66. So let's do the maths on that. So 166 divided by 0.18. That's almost a 10x. So you've had a 10x again in the space of, well, really, if we go back to here, yeah, same thing in the space of a month, a 10x in a month. That is pretty damn good. And we are drifting down. So this is when you want to start buying. So at the minute, it's basically done a big pullback. So from $1.66, it's now it's now down to 60 cents. So what is that? That's a big discount. That's that's like a 70% discount. That's when I want to start buying. Ideally 90. If it comes all the way down to here, I would scoop up more, but I actually am. I actually am probably going to buy straight after I finish recording this. So those are the things that I'm looking for just to give you an example. Not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. Don't do anything that I do. I'm just telling you my process. I'm sharing with you my process. So by the end of this, if I do succeed, you'll know why. And you'll be able to see it was all thanks to my mindset and the mindset that I've been able to garner through the power of having a clear mind, which I've gotten through meditation. So with that, hopefully you enjoyed that episode. Massive, massive, massive evolutions already in text to video, in artificially produced videos. It's on its way to Hollywood. New innovations, everything's trending up. AI is going to continue to be a big sector. It's going to continue to blow the world wide open and it's going to continue to bring us all together. Let's keep studying. Let's keep observing and let's keep our eyes open for these opportunities. And with that, thank you very much. Enjoy your April.